There's a wide variety of treatments for cauliflower ear. The first and most important being is to ice the ear prior to swelling getting out of hand. If you can stop it there, you can prevent having to do any of the more painful or intrusive operations. Keep in mind that if you let cauliflower go, it's going to be extremely painful and it's going to limit your ability to train or to wrestle. Note that when treating cauliflower, if possible, you should always seek professional medical help. Do not take any of the treatments offered here as a substitute for professional medical treatment. I am not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV. However, this is a relatively simple treatment that I have used myself and used with many of my fighters. It is a simple drain and compress operation. Using a small gauge needle, stick the needle into the heart of where the ear is soft. This is where blood is formed. If the ear is hard, it is too late to drain it. You would have to go to a medical doctor to get the ear lanced and scraped. If it is still soft, there is blood inside of the ear. You can use a small gauge syringe to go into the ear and pull the blood out. On an average, I will pull one and a half to two cc's of blood out of a damaged ear. Once you have used the syringe to remove blood from the ear, it is very important then that you compress the ear. Use cotton swabs and compress the ear very, very tightly. This will be extremely uncomfortable for the patient. However, it, the ear must stay firmly compressed, otherwise the swelling will simply return. Do not drain and redrain the ear over and over again without compression, as this is a waste of time and will actually cause further damage to the ear. Drain it once and compress, keep the compression on the ear. Keep in mind, you are working with a hypodermic needle. There is the risk of infection involved. Make sure that you thoroughly clean and swab the ear with alcohol. Follow all best practices concerning bloodborne pathogens. Keep the area clean. If you have to repeat the operation more than three times within a week, the damage is too extensive to be treated with this method, and you will need to seek professional medical treatment. Make sure before you do allow any doctor to work on your ear that they have experience treating cauliflower ear, as it is neither a simple nor common practice. As with any injury, cauliflower ear needs time to rest, ice, and of course to be protected. If you do not protect the injury, you can end up with permanent disfigurement that can have both physical and social consequences.